Hey, get back here. Today we got a Willy Lanier review. Got him with the 96 overall with the chems, the run stuffer, the brawler. Let's go through his stats first before we go and break down his on the field play. 91 speed. And also, uh, I got to threaten you for likes. If you don't like it, I'll stop these. The Raymond Gary called me soft in the last review uh, for, I think it was Lamar. So the Raymond rule, like this or you won't get any more. All right, impact blocking 89 is a little bit of a letdown after 98 block shed, though. So his hit power at 98 also should be throwing some mean hit sticks out there, but we'll get to that on the field. Uh, so overall, like a very well statted middle linebacker, probably the best middle linebacker in the game at this moment right up there. Probably comparable to Ray Lewis, but maybe slightly better. 81 zone coverage is a significant number versus like Ray Lewis's, I don't know, negative five. So will the 81 zone coverage play? Let's find out. Shutdown is what he's got, which is the uh, better zone coverage stuff. I got unfakeable on him. That may have, like, I got secure tackler too, and then lurker for that when he has his chemistries on. Now, he won't be fully abilityed out. Obviously, there he can get some other things the whole time, but he will be uh, abilityed out at the start of the review. Run stopper he gets, which is nice. Enforcer, which is really nice. Those are the kind of two that I think I'd move to besides for lurker. But the thing is, lurker gets such good animations. You guys saw in the Bobby Bell review at six foot four how crazy animations he gets. He gets out my way, goal line stuff, inside stuff, and uh, no outsiders at tier three. So. That's the kind of setup. Obviously, he doesn't get Enforcer at Tier 2, or else I'd have that instead of Secure Tackler. But um, on the field, he moves a little stiff as a user, and that's due to his lower agility. I think it's like mid-80s there, mid to high 80s, 86-ish. So there he is taking on blocks. The 89 impact block, like I said, is kind of important for an off-the-ball linebacker. 98 block shot's nice, but that's really if you're on the line of scrimmage. So there I am shooting through, just missing, just not fast enough. And I feel like that's a little bit with Lanier. After using Tillman for so long, uh, the lack of agility on Lanier, lack of a little bit more speed, does hurt. But here's the thing. As a linebacker, it's tough. It's tough. Like, he's in the middle of the field there. Boom, nice tackle, drag down. So 98 hit power doesn't really play for a CPU unless you have Enforcer on. And, and you could argue, yeah, you need Enforcers now. And Enforcers are really nice. But there's 98 hit power. And a running back just dragged him in the end zone. Because right now, running backs, as you know, are quite powerful. I mean, that was Lamar Miller right there, right? It wasn't even one of the NFL 100 guys. And he couldn't get a, a proper hit stick. His, his hands, though, he is able to catch a pick on a QB spy right there. So the CPU got it. Uh, in the middle of the field there the, the problem with linebackers in this game is also how they don't really like do their job very well against the run they recognize plays late uh, but if you can recognize it with user the unability linear there's a snatch so he's not like entirely worthless as I said he's the best middle linebacker in the game but does that really make a huge difference if everybody's going to react pretty poorly to the run anyways my argument would be maybe no like i said there are comparables ray lewis if you want an enforcer you can get other like more budget enforcers if that's kind of how you want to set your defense up and you really do want to set your defense up to stop the run so the near who should be a, a like a top tier play rec recognizable enforcer uh stopper of the run he has a lot of uh, of tackles being shedded if he doesn't have the secure tackle ability uh, which is which is a little frustrating because it, it feels like it's 50-50 going against these guys. But that makes sense if your break tackle is 95. Even if you have an X factor on there. Um, that you would get it shed. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Lanier, I don't feel like is, is super worth it for his cost uh, being so high. And I feel like you could maybe get some other guys. So, sad that linebackers aren't play wrecking or pursuing like they should. Because Lanier should be the number one. So, out of 10, I'm getting an 8.2. 8.9 with abilities because obviously Enforcer is amazing. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.